And this is called a rabbit fish. It is the best fish to eat fried. Or to me at least, really good fish to eat. Nice and crispy. Doesn't get any better than that. But once you fry it, you can eat it. What's up everybody? This is the best, cleanest, saltiest sea in the world. It's not the Dead Sea, it's the Red Sea. And I'm about to go in there and shoot us some fish. Some 45 minutes spear fishing, and this is what we have. Let me show you. This is some some some. This fish is some type of a parrot fish. I'll look it up and see what the name is in English. And this is called a rabbit fish. It is the best fish to eat fried, or to me at least, really good fish to eat. And I'm gonna take them home, 
cook them up and eat them. See if they're any good. Look how clear this water is. Very clear. It's because the Red Sea is the saltiest sea in the world other than the Dead Sea. The Dead Sea is more like a lake than a sea. This is a real sea and it's very salty. It makes it really hard for algae to grow. But that makes the water really clear. Okay guys, I got this fish out of the cooler. The fish has been sitting on ice. And now I'm gonna clean this big parrot fish and see if it tastes any good. I'll make a cut like this. It's got huge scales, as you can see. See the scales? Big scales. That's the second fillet. And this is gonna be fish food. And I'm gonna clean those little, um, see this is where I shot it. This is called a rabbit fish. It's one of my favorite fish to eat fried. That should be easier to clean than that big fish. Guys, I put the oil in here and it's getting hot already. It's getting hot. It's not hot yet. And now I'm gonna put some flour on my fish just to give it some crispiness. I'm gonna use some flour, but you can use whatever you want. Corn starch works too. Flour works for me. Test my oil. See if it's ready. Are you ready? Could be a little bit hotter, but yeah, I'm gonna put my fish here anyways. Yeah, I think it's fine. I think it's good. Fish here. I don't wanna fill the pan up with fish because that'll cool the oil down a little bit and it won't get that crispiness. So you don't wanna overcrowd your pan. Just put enough fish there to fry without cooling down the oil about this much fish. Uh, let this finish and then I'll add more. Okay guys, while my fish is getting ready, I am gonna work on making the sauce. This is basically sesame butter, okay? It's just like pita butter, but it's made of sesame. It doesn't have any, any uh, sugar in it or anything. And I'm gonna mix it up with a lemon. And this is what I'm gonna use for dipping. It's delicious, it works great for fish if I can open it. Hopefully it doesn't 
Oh, let me let me turn my fish here. Ooh, maybe I left this. Oh my god, look at this. This is looks like chicken. Nice and crispy. Okay, I opened it. I'm gonna uh, put a little bit over here, about this much. I'll squeeze this lemon on it, add some salt, and it's gonna be ready for dip. Quick, quick. All right, guys, I'm sweating because this is June and it's Saudi Arabia. It's hot here. I'm gonna use this lemon to squeeze it on here off camera. I took the first load, nice and crispy. Doesn't get any better than that. Okay, that's good. Got this lemon up. I washed this knife so it doesn't bring all that stink from the fish. I know I should take those seeds off, out, but I don't have time for that. And uh, this is just dipping, and, and I don't think it's gonna stick on your fish if you're dipping it in there. That should be wet. We're not gonna worry about these seeds. I'll just squeeze a lemon in there. You're gonna squeeze more lemon. I think one lemon is gonna be enough. And some salt. Put some salt in there. About that much. And then mix it up. Mix it up with the lemon first. So it breaks down the oils, because this is mixed with sesame, you know, ground sesame and ground sesame oil. So you want to mix the, the lemon first in. I'm going to add some water to thin it out, because it's going to get thick like this. And we're going to add water to thin it out. Put some water in, and mix it up, and see if it needs some more lemon or more salt. Summers here are, I don't think there is a hotter place in the world than here. It's so incredibly hot. But once you get in the ocean, you don't know about the heat. The, the water and the Red Sea are kind of cold. It's nice, it balances it out. See this? I'm looking about, you know, similar cons can this consistency. Okay. More than ready. Other thing, I'm not home. That's why I don't have any uh, toast, uh, I mean, uh, napkins or anything to put to suck all that oil out. But you know. That's my dip. I'm gonna taste it and see if it needs anything. I think it needs nothing. Now that it's ready, let me taste the fish and tell you what it tastes like because I'm gonna take it out to the boys to eat it. Bismillah. I left some rib cage bones, but once you fry it, you can eat it. Guys, this is really, really good. That's my little brother of the Medjus. Here. Mm -hmm. No, try. Mm -hmm. Good? Good. That's all I got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Well, there's going to be a lot more uh, videos like this from the Red Sea because I am here in Saudi Arabia. And there's a lot of types of fish that I want to show you. And we're going to have a good time here. And I will see you next time. Bye.